What's up, guys? It's Max Schaefer from Capital Hoops here, and I want to welcome you guys to the first episode of Max's Montgomery County Corner. This is a new series where I'm going to be talking to some of the best players around the county about a variety of different things. I'm here with my first guest, Springbrook and Team Stat Big Man, Dowder Dembele. What's up, Dowder? Thanks for coming on today. What's up? No problem. No problem at all. Start with uh, four questions. I'm going to be asking everybody I interview from Moco to get uh, kind of everyone's answers and see what kind of different answers we get. My first right. question is: uh, I want to know who's the most talented player? Pick up AAU, Moco, anything. Who's the most talented player you can share the floor with? That got guarded or just like on my team? Just played with. On your team, on the other team, anything. The talented was probably uh, Bobby Hill from Reservoir. He's my AAU teammate. And I played against him. And then I didn't know how hard it was to guard him until I played against him that day. Now I know like what other teams feel when guarding me and him together. Uh, yeah, yeah. For sure. My second one that I'm going to be asking everybody. What uh, DMV player that's out of high school right now, so it can be like a college player, pro, anybody that you just know, is a person that you'd most want to play a game of one-on-one -on -one versus or just hang out and talk to? From the DMV? Yes. Uh, probably Markel Fultz for Markel Fultz, yeah, for, for sure, Markel Fultz. Uh, why him? Because, like, I just want to, like, he's in the league right now, so I just want to know what it takes, like, how hard he worked, because I heard he wasn't, like, he wasn't, like, the star player at first. So. Right, yeah. I don't think he saw the varsity floor for DeMatha until his sophomore season, actually. So. Yeah, for sure. So That's I want to know, like, an example of where hard work how, Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my third one that I'm going to be asking everybody, who do you think is the most talented kid that lives in Montgomery County right now, but doesn't go to Montgomery County High School like they go to private school? For example, uh, I know Jordan Hawkins used to go to Gators, uh -huh. plays for the math, and now somebody like that, Ryan Cornish, plays for Sidwell. Uh, from, let me think. Uh, that lives in Montgomery County. Probably Jordan Hawkins, you already probably said, yeah, Jordan Hawkins. Yeah, he had a yeah, great year this year. Yeah, Jordan Hawkins for sure. And then my fourth question I'm going to be asking everybody, who do you think is the best high school rapper in Montgomery County right now? I know at Springbrook you guys have a young theory, but yeah, I want sure. to get your take on, on who you think is the best right now. For sure, young theory. For sure, young theory. He go to our school. Yeah, for sure, young theory, for sure. <laughs> and uh, I just want to hear uh, how you've been doing in quarantine, how you've been staying in shape. Obviously, I know there's no AAU, so that must be kind of hard for you. And I just want to kind of hear what you've been doing to stay fit and ready uh, during lockdown. Uh, well, I have like a week schedule. So it's like Sunday, like the weekends, I work on my body, upper body, lower body. And then right outside, literally like right outside my house is like a basketball court. So I'm um, like Monday, Tuesday, I do like agility, ball handling, like shooting. And then Tuesday, Thursday, I work around the basket. And then Friday, I just get shots up. And then I, sometimes I do hills because there's like hills right there. And then that's how I really stay in shape. Nice, nice. Yeah. So uh, a super unique experience that I know that you had that I want to talk to you about is, I think I might see your jersey in the back there from, uh, from Mali. Oh, yeah. You in the, uh, in the U16 African Championships. You guys went all the way to the finals. I know you led your team in rebounds uh, a lot a lot towards the end of the stretch in the quarterfinals, semifinals. What yeah. was that like for you at such a young age to could be competing on such like a high stage and have so many made, eyes on you? It was like a wake up call because people like people around there, like they're big, they're stronger than me. So I had to really use skill to like play, play with them or play against them. So when I came back, I, I had to realize that I need to work on my skill more than my body. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, one more thing I wanted to get your, your take on. Uh, I know, obviously, it must have been rough for you. Springbrook was headed to uh, Xfinity yeah. to play state semifinals. You guys had a really great year, kind of defied what a lot of people expected of you. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that kind of emotion for you like when you figured out there was state finals weren't going to happen this year and you guys weren't going to get your chance to compete for a state championship? Uh, I mean, it was heartbreaking because all the work we put in this season, like all the doubter, the doubters that said we was, was not going to win. But at the end of the day, we're going to come back stronger next year and hope for hopefully 
to just repeat the same audition or do better. Sure. Uh, yeah. I know that on Team Stat, you play with mm-hmm. some guys from around the county that you compete against, like Mikey Ayala on Blair, or Jawi Tuka on Gaithersburg. Yeah. What, what it's like to have that kind of camaraderie with them on stat and then have to go out and compete against them on uh, MoCo Circuit? I mean, playing against them on stat, it's like, like a brotherhood. So like when we play against each other, like it's like during the court, we're not friends, but after the court, we laugh, we joke, and it goes back to the brotherhood. Right, right, right. Yeah. So uh, another thing that I wanted to hear you talk about, I know this year when I would do post-game interviews for Capital Hoops, Springbrook was uh, one of my favorite teams to interview because it seems like you guys as a group have a, a really great chemistry. Uh, yeah. You can always have a good time together. Uh, I want to hear what, why you think that is, like this year, why that existed, and how you think you're going to continue. Obviously, you're going to be losing some seniors. So to try yeah. to, you might have to step up as a leader a little bit next year as you become one of the leaders of the team. And I just kind of want to hear why you think that is and how you're going to continue it down the stretch. I mean, for Springbrook during lunch, we're always together. Like, Co- Coach D has his own office. Sometimes we go down there, grab a snack, and we just joke around together. And then in practice, practice, uh, like, we go at each other next to make each other better. So, like, there's, like, a certain, like, respect we have for one another and know when to, we know when to play and know when to be serious. Right, for sure. And, and for me to continue that next year, uh... I probably just had to like repeat the same culture because Coach D, he has a great foundation. I just need to repeat it. For sure. Uh, yeah. One last thing I just uh-huh. want to get your take on. Uh, obviously, like I was, like I said, Springbrook was headed to semifinals last year. Season got uh-huh. cut short. Next year, what do you think we are, can expect to see from Springbrook and you guys think you can get that championship? Oh, for sure. I think we get that championship next year. And who do you see being your biggest obstacle in the county? Biggest obstacle in the county? Uh, it has between either Blake or Blair, one of the two. For sure. All yeah. right. I really appreciate you taking the time to come on, Dada. It's the first episode of Max's Montgomery County Corner. Very yeah, talented no man, great kid. So uh, good luck in the rest of quarantine and good luck next season, man. All right, thank you. No problem.